Biden secretly allows Ukraine to strike Russian territory with U.S. weapons. U.S. President Joe Biden has covertly approved Ukraine to strike the territory of the Russian Federation using American armaments, but only at the borders of Kharkiv Oblast, Politico said. The president recently directed his team to ensure that Ukraine is able to use U.S. weapons for counter-fire purposes in Kharkiv so Ukraine can hit back at Russian forces hitting them or preparing to hit them. A source told Politico that U.S. doctrine on long-range strikes within Russia had not altered. Politico sources cited the deteriorating conditions for Ukraine on the battlefield, namely Russia's advance and improved positions in Kharkiv Oblast, as the reason for Biden's decision. Politico writes Ukraine can now utilize American weapons to take down missiles aimed at Kharkiv, strike clusters of personnel direct from the Russian side of the border near Kharkiv, and target Russian bombers dropping bombs into Ukrainian territory. A US official stated that Ukraine cannot use these weapons to strike civilian infrastructure or launch long-range missiles at military targets deep within Russia. In early May, a senior US military official told lawmakers that easing restrictions on Ukraine's use of US weapons inside Russia would have military value according to two meeting participants. One person familiar with discussions between Washington and Kiev said a final decision on easing the ban is very close now, hinting that the Biden administration would give Ukraine the green light fairly soon. U.S. officials more seriously considered changing policy soon after Russia launched an attack on Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkov, the two U.S. officials said. Military officials had been discussing the merits of a change in policy even before the Kharkov campaign began on May the 10th. At a closed briefing by members of the House Armed Services Committee on May the 7th, lawmakers from both sides of the aisle pressed senior Defense Department officials to ease U.S. restrictions on Kiev's use of American weapons to strike Russia. Earlier, the New York Times reported that President Joe Biden was approaching a change in position to authorize Ukraine to strike Russian territory with American weaponry. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg asked that the Allies review the constraints on Ukraine's ban on using Western weaponry against the Russian Federation in the midst of border fighting in Kharkiv Oblast. Some European countries have already indicated open support for this strategy. Trump wants to appoint Elon Musk as his advisor in case winning election. The US presidential candidate Donald Trump has been in talks with Twitter CEO Elon Musk for several months regarding the possible appointment of the latter as an advisor if Trump returns to the White House, citing the Wall Street Journal. Journalists spoke with several sources who confirmed the discussions between the SpaceX founder and the former president, stating that Musk now calls Trump directly from his mobile phone several times a month. Although the negotiations are preliminary in nature and sources warn that they may fall through, Trump has expressed interest in finding a way to make Musk more involved in politics, possibly related to border security or the economy. Two issues Musk has publicly commented on. On his part, Musk could help Trump in his re-election bid not only by making a contribution to his campaign coffers, but also by leveraging the power and influence of other wealthy donors, although he has declined public endorsements. They first met this year at a donor breakfast in early March held at Mont Sorrel, billionaire Nelson Pelz's residence in Palm Beach, Florida. The meeting was first reported by the New York Times, noting that Trump was seeking financial contributions. According to the Wall Street Journal, during the meeting, the topic of Musk becoming an advisor to Trump was raised, with one source likening it to the advisory role of former Marvel chief Isaac Perlmutter at the Department of Veterans Affairs in the Trump administration. Among other topics discussed by Trump and Musk were the US Space Force, created during Trump's first presidential term, as well as Musk's technological company's electric vehicle manufacturing, which Trump criticized at his early rallies and immigration. The presidential election in the United States is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. Donald Trump is the Republican candidate and the incumbent President Joe Biden is the Democratic candidate.